Hello everyone and welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil for more ghost hunting, or really more house exploring. Here we are in the office and I haven't really taken a look around this area yet, so let's start with this down here. Uh, something in the box? Oh, another one of these! Louise? Unwanted. Unknown origins. Left at Oxford A&E. No relatives. Sucks to be her, I suppose. Um, okay. What is that, the fourth one I've got of those now? Quite a few. Uh, what about to this side? Let's see. Let's go this way. Ooh. Yes, yes, come in, please. Please, come through. Is that who I think it is? Take a seat. We will begin. Shangri-La offers short-term and long-term solutions to the problems that face modern, hard-working parents. Send your darlings to Shangri-La. Admitting that you are struggling to cope is the first step to a happier family life. No, 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 no tears, please. I will look after each and every one as if the child were my own. <laughs> She's come a long way from Saxton, hasn't she, really? Um, okay. So, a uh, different screen. Let's not go through there quite yet. What's over here on the counter? Another box. And another little card here for Darren Coles, who's got anger issues, apparently. He broke his arm. Bike accident. So he rages at anything. Bloody Darren. Alright. We've got so many items now. That's ridiculous. Okay, right. Um, that's it. Over here, it looks like. What about the television over here? Right. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave it on, leave it on. I was wondering if I could change the channel. Mother, how are you coping? Is modern motherhood proving too taxing? Are you struggling to make ends meet? Are the little ones too much for you? Well, we have a solution for you. Shangri-La Children's Home. Based in the rolling rural hills of Oxfordshire, Shangri-La Children's Home offers fresh air in abundance, nutritious country grub, and a warm and safe environment for your loved ones. Free yourself of the burdens of motherhood, and trust Shangri-La Children's Home to educate your child to the highest standard in maths, English, and science. A healthy lifestyle waits, with many outdoor activities offered to keep young lungs clean and consumption free. Days out to the seaside and fair are also encouraged. Perhaps such frivolities are beyond your reach, perhaps too far away. Or for financial reasons, you just can't afford it. Throw out to help you. Provide the stimulation your child needs. <laughs> Their faces look so creepy. Education. Exercise. Teamwork. Fun. Shangri-La Children's Home is the perfect place for your child, no matter what age. If you cannot cope, you are not ready for motherhood. Let us relieve you of your burden. We offer short-stay programs, as well as more permanent solutions. Shangri-La Children's Home. Right, I, I, I think we, we get the idea, don't we? Right, so I guess the first thing that happens when people arrive is they get their face scraped off. Which is just wonderful, I think. Yeah, very peculiar. Um, right. Bit of a hole. Wait, can I go up there? Am I walking up there? Probably not. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go back around here. And, right, yeah. The radio? Shall I put it on to, uh... Maybe? Uh, to be honest, I think that was just the radio in the attic, so... Let's leave that. Nothing else? Doesn't look like it. There's a few, like, awards, certificates and stuff back there. Files and folders, but nothing that I want to have a look at. 
Oh, wait, I think... Okay, hang on. Are they always in boxes like this? It seems like it. Who's this? Oliver Tanner. Okay. A lonely child. Very intense. No sweets. He's a diabetic. Previous broken leg. Okay. Specialist holidays for children with special needs. Family support. Shangri-La, that's right. Okay. I think I actually saw a couple... Yeah, look, there's there's a couple that are actually pinned to this notice board. Oh! This is where we collect them. So... Oh, they're still in my inventory. Are they there? Wait, this is Louise. Is Louise up there? Okay, Louise is there, yeah. So, um... Looks like there's still quite a... A few to find. But I can take a look at them in, in greater detail. Which is quite nice, I suppose. Okay. Could be related to a puzzle later on. Um... What about around here? Looks like I can't go any further, because that's actually blocked. Horror home to close, Shangri-La Library. Alright. Again, I can call someone. 999 is not an option, and uh, right now I'm not thinking of any other numbers to call. Maybe I could call this phone from the other phone. Or vice versa, I don't know. seeing anything else to do here. Okay, let's just very quickly consult the map, okay? So we're in the office, phone. The medical area, we haven't got to the, to the medical area yet. Visitors, apparently there's a toilet through that door. And there's like a day room, a store. And of course at some point I'll have to go back to the base of the main stairs. I'll have to do the CCTV puzzles until they allow me access up. So... Yeah, let's go this way, and let's go over there. Leave the kids with us for the summer, or forever. Just abandon them. Oh, look, another box, which means, yeah, another one of these cards. This one for Reshma, or Reshna Patel. A good leader for the girls, apparently. Okay. She does not deserve the situation placed upon her. I guess I'll add her to the board. Let's go into the bathroom. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. They, okay, there's. I think there's maybe another card in there. The phone's going, though. Ah, oh, I missed it! Wow, I've got to be really, really fast on my feet to get back there and answer it. Anyway, um, I think I got some information, so... Let's hear about the Star Flu. Star Flu, situated near the office, the Star Flu is part of the original plush living rooms of Harwood House. It is hard to believe, given the current usage, with a dirty, ramshackled old toilet, cracked ceramic tiles, and rotting shelving, the Star Flu is an unpleasant space. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really looking forward to uh, to exploring it now. Okay, so yeah, I, I noticed this actually on the little photo. There's another one! Louis Green. Or Louis Green, possibly. He's autistic. Uh, he gets with his work, apparently. Uh, popular with the other children. He's smart. Okay. What can I do here? Oh. Hairbrush? With some hair as well. I wonder if that's meant to go... I wonder if that's meant to go on the toilet. Wait, did I just see something else, or...? No, I think it's just that. Okay, fair enough. Okay, spin around, because I think there's another one of these. On the table. That's right. Here we are. So this one's Kevin Tilby. Local authority has given up. Not us, though. Free of temptation, Kevin's mood improves. Alrighty then. I can pick that up as many times as I want, it seems. Same screen? Same screen. Okay, the toilet. No. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Well, yeah. Pretty unpleasant, as I was told. So, maybe it's time to get out of here? 
before that, though, I'll just give this a once over with this. I haven't heard any yet, so probably not going to get anything, but just in case. Oh, hang on, wait, no, I've, I can maybe get to it this time. Even with a night vision camera. They have all gone. Left us behind. All alone. Please, if you're there, please help us. <laughs> and I slam the phone down and I leave. Right, okay. Well, I'll try. I will try. What was her name? Na was it Nanny Noah? Look at that. I can see one, two, three, four, maybe five more. Five or six more. I'm finding a few. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything here to really have a look at. So let's leave the office and let's find somewhere else to explore. Of course, maybe I can go back and play the piano. Oh. Hello. Quiet. Please, quiet. Please, listen closely. Settle down. This is important. As some of you know, your teacher has had a terrible accident. With a pen, right? Form an ordinary line and we shall descend down through the woods before it's too late. Through the woods? What the hell? Okay. Weird. Very weird. Okay, so... Uh, where's that map? There it is. God, there's so many of these. Uh, so we're next to the store, next to the visitors. Okay, so I can actually go back on myself. I can turn around and I can go to the med area, which leads to another playground. So maybe I should do that. Nothing down here by the chairs? No. Wonderfully colourful walls. Uh, is, is that a tight fit? A tight squeeze? Can I not go through there? Is it because the pirate's blocking you? Because to be honest, you can get him out of the way. Maybe it's the bunting. I don't want to hit my head. Okay. I can't go that way. I don't know why. There's no ghostly apparition stopping me. That I know about. Um, again, just... Stairs blocked. Okay. So do I have to get through the blockage, the Jericho 5 blockage, to get to the med area? Because it looks like this way is just open to us. I'm confused. <laughs> um, I guess we can go to the day room instead. Yeah, so let's go this way. Because I don't think there's anything else to have a look at around here. Yeah. The door's open and someone's already looking at me. I can see you through there, mate. Yes. Okay. What do we got? Okay. Haunted house. Sounds good. Hmm. I wonder. No hidden numbers this time, like the five and the two from before. Okay. All right. Just a nice little detail, I suppose. So it looks like I can go that way, or I can have a look at another blockage. Let's check this out. Okay, again. What about the thermal? Is that still... Still broken? God damn, nah, okay. They're never going to let me live that down, are they? I don't know what I did. I don't think I did anything, really. It's just, uh, it's not working for some reason. Another radio? Oh! Oh! Alright, clamber over. Alright. I don't know why I couldn't do that to get to the med area, really. What's this? I hope you don't mind the sound of What? He must have died. I don't know. Come is that Lucy I'm hearing? An old Nigel? Wait, is this Saxton? Saxton Harbour, 1907. 
I don't know. It's simply true. Prove to me. <laughs> Just a lad. Dear, dear me. Okay. And this one as well? Yeah, that's that's Saxton. <laughs> I'm getting the singing in the background. I can't wait for Black and Rock. Is that it? Something down here? No? What about... Why are you turning to look at me? <laughs> I mean, I know why, but it just looks very, very odd. Same thing happened with the medical dummy. Um, we're just climbing over again, aren't we? Yeah, can't even use the radio by the looks of it. Okay, well, let's uh, let's nip into the door on the side. Yeah, can we? We can. Okay, please tell us about the area. Where am I? The day room. Day room. Although Shangri-La was surrounded by woodland and countryside, the children would have spent most days here in the day room. With a television, board games, and regular meals, the children may have been content with what they had. <laughs> they may have been. Oblivious to the world outside of the suggested Shangri-La utopia. Leave really? your worries behind as you play snakes and ladders instead. <laughs> Occasionally, <laughs> operators have reported power to the television, stating images can be seen on the screen. This is impossible, so must be counted as a paranormal phenomena. Oh. Keep watching. I wasn't aware, because I, I watched a whole fucking advert for the place that lasted about five minutes. I should have been recording that, <laughs> I guess. And who's, who's laughing in the background? <laughs> I bet they weren't oblivious to the outside world like you think. Kids are smarter than you'll give them credit for. Right, okay. What are we doing then? Ooh. I've seen you. What was that? Like the burning boy? It was the boy picture either way. Um. Hmm, mm, indeed. Something over here? Maybe. Uh, oh, this is... What's this? This is the truth. And that's the B-side. What the fuck's the A-side? Looks like there's a little castle on it. Okay. Am I, am I taking that with me, or...? Yeah, I think I am. That's number two. Where do I use these? I mean, surely there's a, you know, a spare cassette where I could just plug them in and play them. Okay, I can go that way. I'm actually going to go towards the boy picture. Yeah. What we got here? Hello. Yeah. I was expecting something like that. <gasps> right? Wasn't precisely expecting that though. Okay. Yeah. Let's not set the picture alight. Maybe let's try and use the gadgets for once. Um. Okay. Thermal, I assume, is not going to... Oh, it does work! Ha! Huh. Huh, indeed, yeah. It's not showing the painting. What about... This. Oh, yeah. We got something. Alright, um... Let's back away and see what we get. So it's this one. And... Day room crying boy. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Play me or get burnt? <laughs> yep, that's what the crying boy was saying. I gotta play him or get burnt. Okay. Okay. What do you want to play? What was it? Snakes and Ladders? Is that your your game of choice? A bit of Monopoly, maybe? Yeah. There's still something here. Not getting anything from the ghost box thing. Or any strange readings with this. Uh, I'm sort of out of gadgets, unless there's like a few more that I haven't been given access to yet. 
Or maybe it just says here, because I need to play him. I don't know. There's a door over here. And I can't use it. Fair enough. Um, the fireplace? Okay. Wait, what was... Okay, I can use something here. Uh, what was that? Is that a lamp? Or um, a doorknob or something? Not sure what that was, actually. Okay. I just... Picked up loads of those. Do I place them there? No. What about the other stuff? No. Alright, I, I guess I have to put them back like a jigsaw. Okay, this side. Hang on. Look, okay, so we've got some more equipment over here. More about Oxford ghosts? Okay. It's one of the Jericho Five. John Draker, a council road worker, said he heard the shouts of a man in distress while working on potholes near the Harwood Estate on the morning of 1st of February 1974. I thought he was in trouble from the way he was shouting, he said cautiously. I could just about make him out, and he had woman's hair. You know, like a wig. White it was, like a judge. I walked across the lower field towards him, but he just seemed to get further away. I stepped forward, he drifted away. He kept saying the same thing. Jericho. Harwood. Darkfall. Okay. No digital stick to analog. He's a pain in the ass, but I like him. I'm gonna try a vigil. See if I can't stir things up a little. Uh -huh. Okay. Stir things up, you did. Did I just. Did I swap that over or something? Put that away. Yeah. It looks like I can collect spares from this box. Let's just back away. Um, looks like there's another camera set up. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is actually Snakes and Ladders, isn't it? Do you want to play Snakes and Ladders, then? Huh. Huh. Is that a yes? Uh, I'll have to find some counters or some pieces or something, I suppose, right? Because there's nothing here. We've got dice. We gotta die. Uh, can I not use this? No, okay, well, uh, let's listen again. Oh! I guess that was it. Alright, so we gotta. We gotta back away to get this out. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to control this. The board game then. Join me for a game. Join me for a game. I will. If you'll allow me. If you find the pieces, or if I find the pieces, I guess I will... I will best you at Snakes and Ladders. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like there's something over there, but I don't think I can really take a look at it. What about... Looking? <laughs> Like 70s and 80s magazines. Over here? Bucks Fizz. Colour, centre, and exclusive. Curly Whirly for 3p. Goodness gracious me. Another television that I can't actually inspect. That's the one that might have some sort of paranormal event attached to it, right? So it's kind of weird that I can't. Through here? This uh, is this. This is going outside then, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So again, I'm just going to take a quick look at the map if I can find the bugger. There it is. So I had a look at the day room. Went through the sealed door, which evidently isn't sealed. Couldn't access the store. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, looks like we had a look at most things, apart from the boys' toilets and the medical area. Okay. It might be time for us to uh, go back to the CCTV and see if we can get upstairs, but before that, I actually want to go to the attic. Because I think I've got the... Hi, come in. Death item. Steve. 
Uh, yep, I'm here. I've just always checked here. the upper classroom. You like? No, this is supposed to be a serious experiment. What's the problem now? It's set up like a bloody Halloween party. <sighs> Everyone's sick of Steve's shit. This is an shit. open com, Ben. It's an experiment. Into what? How to fake a haunting for YouTube? <laughs> no, it's to make things like they were in 1984. It's cheap. It's effective. And it's worked before. Fine, get on with it. Bear, do you want to team up? We can just sort of like kick Steve and Jen to the curb because they just bother us and they don't actually really do anything. Right, okay. Up to the attic. Yeah, that pen I think is the death item. And then I might need to find something else to place down there, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> of course the radio is still playing. Okay, so yeah, still got that thing. Can I? Oh, I can. I can take that with me. Maybe there's a few places it can go. Um, put it back there, and put it down with the pen. Right. Oh, the spirit board. Maybe. Let's take a look. Oh, well. Hey, look, new questions. Uh, Rose. Dead. Dead, okay. Are you Thomas Harding? Can we get this confirmed? Yes, okay. Well, you know, I, I think everyone saw that coming, even Steve. Uh, when did you die? We'll get in the year, I guess. 1984? Four? four? Yep, four. 1984. Even more. Who's Isabella? Or, well, who's Isabella? Okay. Uh, mate, you need to slow down. I What's this? Oh, wow. What the fuck? <laughs> this is a nice surprise, honestly. Uh, right. Did I just go back in time? What is this? Darkfall 2? Right. Well, okay. Look, we're here. Let's just have a look around, I guess. What's this? Golden Star. A road. Oh. The road she yearns for, I managed to find it. Still popular, a couple of hundred years later. Okay. But I need to plant it with, um, potash. Alright. So, um, hang on. So what's going on here? Okay, we're... Still got all the items. Can I bring this from the past to the future? Maybe. What's this? Another 3P curly whirly. Threads. Picking up the threads there. Okay. More torn up something, but I can't have a look. What else have we got? The clock. The radio. I love it. Hot, hot, hot music. This, this is modern, modern trash. trash. I'm sure it loves you too. You could always turn it off if you don't like it. Although that's not modern pop music, is it? The science fair. The kids always do very well. Hmm. Okay, what have we got here? Ha! <laughs> A postcard. I never liked you anyway. I took the job. I'm sorry. It's not your I'm fault. I'm glad she ended it. For I have something new. Yeah, you say that, but you're not feeling it. 
There's those postcards again. The Oxford ones, yeah. Same I thing. never liked, liked you anyway. Yeah, all right, okay. Just to reiterate. <laughs> I'm glad she ended it. For I have something new. All right, back away. No more looking at postcards. We're done. Okay. Scholars, Scholars and, and work, work colleagues. <laughs> which is which, I wonder? Were you working with him? We can't have a look at these individually. No. Can I use the ghost hunting equipment here? I mean, because I think there's a ghost talking to me right now. Uh, we've got the items, but we can't use them. Yeah, I can't use any of them. Can't use anything, actually. I, I guess that's just the rules. What's this? Diary? Oh, the children have found a passage deep beneath the school. The old cellars? Or some previously unknown structure? I have locked the door to that area. I have an uneasy feeling. Headaches and migraines. I've talked to Matron. She thinks it's eye strain. The migraines have returned along with the voices. A fever? Or perhaps an allergic reaction? The voices are worse. One of, them's talk one of them talks to me, in my head. I must seek help. The whispers, they know my name. She knows me. How can that be? How can she know my name? I woke to find myself at the chamber door. Is that it then? Hang on. There's no more pa That's where we leave it? Ah. I'm gonna need to find that, I suppose. Hmm, okay, so... Deep beneath the school, the old cellars. That's probably something to do with the uh, the combination lock to the basement. Lucifer lights there. A few books. The old the lamp, lamp is essential. essential. No, no one, one wants, wants to wander hard, hard in the dark. dark. I'm sure they don't. Uh, yeah, alright. What else can we play with? What about these guys? The old college. I had such high aspirations. Well, good for you. That's enough of them. I guess that's kind of it. Oh, well. It's going to take us back to the present, I assume. Right, with this bloody modern pop music. Wait, so hang on. Do I... I assume I hit that to get back to the past. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Let's just see. So I've actually got this. I brought it with me. How strange. Cool, though. Cool. Okay. Um... That radio. Let's just take a look at the radio, shall we? Bullshit. Years later, and this song is still playing. That okay. I, I wonder. Does the music make you uh, want to answer more questions? I <laughs> the music makes you mad. Uh, we can go back to Rose and everything like that. Okay, just goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, there you go. That's very kind, very polite. Nice guy, Mr. Harding. Right, so I'm, I'm going to need some potash. Alright, let, let's leave the attic. I think what I want to do now is I want to go back to the ground floor of the main hall and I want to prove myself as the ghost hunting extraordinaire that I know I am. So what's the easiest way of doing that? Probably through the science room again. to mess around with all this stuff. I've got so many items, I need to start getting rid of them, really, but... At some point, I, I will. Alright, so, this way, through the hall. I guess they're all upstairs. I haven't actually bumped into any of them yet. And I think Steve and Bear were meant to be outside having a private chat, right? Anyway. Over here. Get us some good results, and you'll get access to upstairs. Thank you, O Leader. Thank you so much. Connecting. Right. 
this one. I hear a sound. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> You've got talent for goat hunting. Well, thank you very much. Not talented enough to come upstairs, though. Not yet. All right, let's leave and let's see what else I can do. Ah, oh, old school, but go on. Sound. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's impressive. It's early days, but... Shut up, Jen. You're interrupting me yet again. Okay, uh, got a couple of new ones here. That's the green... <laughs> Laughing. It's a voice. Okay. You're doing a great job. I think that may have been Nanny Noah laughing as well. I guess all of these are upstairs, or most of them are. This one? Oh, what the hell? We hide in the dark. It likes to play games. Oh. We hide in the dark. It likes to... Whoa. We hide in the dark. Okay. I got it. You just have to... Excellent. You passed again? Uh, I guess. Yeah, just to get the, the clearest sound, I suppose. You just need to fiddle around with those knobs. Okay. Any more? Yep. Uh, okay. I will not tolerate lying. I will not tolerate lying. Okay, there we go. That took a long ass time. I think I went through every single combination. It's early days, but Oh, man. Okay, that was a tricky one for some reason cuz it it sounded clear a lot, you know. All right, this one. Another new one. Wait, they're saying this here as well. Oh god. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> hey, well done. Thank you. Yeah, same kind of thing. What next? Where are we going? Something new. Ah, uh, it's not new. Nah. Go on, greenhouse. Oh, there's a figure there. That's different. Right. How many times do I need to do this exactly? Great work. Thanks, but not great enough to go upstairs. Apparently. That one? Thank God it's not the sound, although it is the sound. Would I say voice or sound for that? Definitely voice. Hey, well done. Thank you. Can I come upstairs now, please? Oh. That's an easy one. Wow, that's not something you see every day. It is though, I've seen that like five times now. Feels like it anyway. That one again? Okay, that's good enough. Some, someone crying. Whatever, the... you're doing really good. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's that's happening over by them, right? They're not hearing that with their equipment? Okay, the playground. Sounds like the playground equipment's spinning around, so that's just a sound. Uh-huh, okay. Hey, well done. Oh, ah. Oh, there you go. There's that orb again. Still floating around. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, nice one. I'm about ready to give up with this, honestly. This is new, though. Oh, okay. Was it spot the difference this time? Right. Uh, what just happened? That's is that where uh, Mr. Harding died with the pen? What's going on? I, I've not really been paying attention.
Uh, I... Oh. Okay, that wasn't there before. Hmm. I haven't seen any of the guys on the cameras either. Oh, check that out. Yeah, I guess they're just hiding behind all the cameras. I'm sort of struggling with this one, actually. Wait. Always these symbols. Something very, very obvious, I'm sure, to people watching, but I'm just looking at the wrong part of the monitor, it seems. Yeah, there's some, there's some blood down there, actually. Of course, this is like the first time I'm seeing the classroom as well. I actually want to go up there. Which is why I need to actually find all the differences. It's the problem with having a big monitor as well, because I actually have to turn my head. Can't see it all at once. Okay, well, that's obvious. That's very obvious. <laughs> More of that, please. Can we have him back? Oh, there he is again. I think it just sort of cycles to a different... Well, that planet's changed. Yeah, it cycles to a different one each time we get that little glitch. So it's changed again. And it's the symbols over here. Right, okay, now I'm getting it. Right, okay. <laughs> sure. Good effort. You're doing really good. Good effort? Good fucking effort? What more do you need? There's a ghost pointing to her desk right there. Good effort, she says. Am I done? Wait a sec. Hey, this is Bear. Right. That's bloody amazing. You've logged more data than me. <laughs> I can't wait to take a look at your captures. That's great data. You're our best newbie by far. I'm your only newbie. Yeah, it's Steve here. I've uh, got to admit, I'm impressed. Oh yeah? How impressed? You should definitely take a look around upstairs. That impressed, I guess. Good job. We're really getting somewhere. Well, I'd like to fucking hope so. Right, so I'm not going to get stopped when I try the stairs? Let me just try my foot on the threshold. Oh! There we are! Okay, so there's like a bath. Halfway up the stairs. <laughs> Please explain this. Somebody? Uh, over here. Uh, the main stairs. Main stairs. This staircase joins what would have been the main hall. The hub of Shangri-La. It is a grander build designed to impress visiting dignitaries and add drama for the Harwood family when traversing the house. Okay. Now, the staircase looks rickety after years of playful abuse by the children of Shangri-La. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I'm not going to fall through it, am I? I guess we'll find out. But hope not. I had to work pretty hard to get up here. Right, so... There's a little bear there. Is there... Nothing? Nothing in the bath I want to have a look at. Shangri-La 1983. Lovely. Boarded up windows. Can't look up properly though. Okay, well let's, let's go up. A guy was going up the stairs. Yeah. I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish. I wish. Okay. Thanks for that, Nanny Noah. Uh, okay. Well, looks like we go a little bit further. Or maybe we don't. Through here? Okay. Ooh. What's going on there? Alright, screaming in the distance. I, let me just look at the map again. I, I guess I've just got the map of the ground floor, right? Where was the map? There it is. Yeah, safe zone's ground floor. I guess I'm going to have to find another map for the, uh, for the first floor here. Right, so I made it up the stairs, and we're into the first of the upstairs rooms. And this is where I'm going to leave this video. We'll leave her screaming in the distance. Maybe we'll help her a little bit later on. Maybe it's Jen. Maybe she's getting what she deserves because she's been interrupting me so much. We can only hope.
Anyway, thanks very much for watching. See you next time as we explore the upstairs. See you then. Yes, yes, come in, please. Please, come through. Is that who I think it is? Ooh. Ooh, can I not go through there? Is it because the pirate's blocking you? What about... Why are you turning to look at me? <laughs> the children may have been content with what they had. They may have been. Oblivious to... This is the truth. And that's the B side. What the fuck's the A side? Yeah. I was expecting something like that. What's this? Oh, wow. Bullshit. Years later, and this song is still playing. Get us some good results, and you'll get access to upstairs. Thank you, O Leader. Thank you so much. Oh, what the hell? Good effort. You're doing really good. Good effort? Good fucking effort? What more do you need?